So you're going to need some pasta, ranch dressing, and of course, bacon. And some cheese. Cheddar works best, but you can use any kind you want. Remember, first things first. First things first, we are going to wash our hands or use hand sanitizer before we handle food. Okay, now that we've checked out, make sure we have all the ingredients on hand, we're going to start by boiling the noodles. And you'll notice the boil is what we call a full rolling boil. And this is really important on um, in Grand Junction because we are up several thousand feet and water boils at a lower temperature. So it might have to cook a little longer. Very carefully dump the noodles in there. Give it a quick stir so they don't stick together. The instructions on my noodle bag say to cook uncovered, stirring occasionally for 13 to 16 minutes. So we're going to do that. And in the meantime, we'll chop up our bacon. Okay, so while the water is boiling, we're going to chop up our bacon. Now, what? If this was really crisp bacon, I'd just crumble it up. But it's a good thing that it's not crisp because otherwise I'd probably eat half of it. I already ate a couple of pieces. Everything tastes better with bacon or sausage. Okay. If you want, I mean, this recipe is very, very flexible. You'll notice that I was using farfel noodles instead of elbow macaroni. You could use ziti. You could use... Um, the little hat shaped things if you can find them, uh, penne, uh, broken up pieces of spaghetti, but really a thicker one is better. And once you have your once you have your bacon pretty much chopped up, I mean it shouldn't take 13 minutes, but I think it's just about time for our pasta to be cooked. So we're going to drain it and run some cold water over it. Okay. Okay. So even if your pan has a heat-proof handle, you should always, always wear gloves when you're dealing with boiling water because you can get a very, very serious burn. Okay. So we've got the noodles in there. And we're going to run little cold water over them just so that they don't keep cooking. Okay, we'll let that cool off for a bit. If you're anxious, you can probably put it in the fridge, but I think this should be fine. <laughs> as long as you don't drop it back in the boiling water. Okay. Okay, so we're ready to assemble. Pasta has a little bit of moisture left in it, but it's not runny. So we'll add the bacon. Add the cheese, which we've cut into hopefully cubes. Cubes are equal on all its vertices, which are the sides. So they're a little bit different than, say, I know I have a rectangle in here, a rectangle. But just about any shape as long as it's uniform. Okay, if you don't have regular cheese, you can use shredded cheese. I like putting in peas because I love the color between the red of the bacon and the green of the peas, it just looks so nice. And if you really wanna get daring. I'm adding some radishes because I love the crunch of radishes. Okay, so we get that a little bit tossed and then we'll add our ranch dressing. Now you got to be careful with this. Some ranch dressings are runnier than others. Others are thicker. So you want to add a little bit at a time and then give it a stir. I'm stirring a little bit more slowly than usual because this is a very shallow bowl. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. And 
And if you want to act really pretty, you can add some parsley on top. And there you go. Okay, I think that's just about enough. Bon appetit, as they say in French.